What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be a good video guys. Today's gonna be a, one of one of my exciting videos to do. Um, I was trying to do this two weeks earlier, but you know, it was kind of hectic. So without further ado, before we get into this video, I kind of want to do a little backstory. Probably back when I started vlogging, let's start there. Cause it's kind of where it kind of really matters. Um, you know, we were living in a little tiny, in a tiny room in my mom's house, you know. Um, honestly, we did not think we would get here at this point in time. We're living in a little tiny room. I'm gonna see if I can find some clips. You know, you guys can see the little, you know, little perspective. If you guys are new to the channel, but if you guys have been following me, you guys kind of know. I kind of have a little vibe of what the little room was. Um, and then, you know, my girl got pregnant. You know, we're, I'm not saying we we're struggling, but you know, financially we were okay. But we needed, we needed something bigger because you know we were in that little tiny room, and to fit three little three people in that room was you no, know, it, it was not gonna happen. So. You know, we stepped up to the play. We kind of did. Ha we had to do what we had to do, and then, you know, a little fast forward, a little more. You know, um, we got better jobs. You know, we started hustling more. We started doing you know, different things to kind of, you know, be financially more stable. And then we got the other house. You know, with two roommates and two of my boys. You know, we we rented a house together. You know, since it was it was a lot bigger, we got the master bedroom. You know, we got lots of space for me, my girl, you know, the baby. But you know, after living there for a couple months, you know, I kind of figured like, you know, I, I was kind of wasting money at that point, um, just because you know, you know, I had a better job, the payments weren't that weren't that high at that other house, and you know, I was just spending money on on little stupid things, I guess you could say. Um, also. You know, me and my girl were both spending stupid things and then, and then we weren't really focused. So then I started getting more focused in things. Um, um, you know, we, 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 like I said, we were kind of building our cars just to build them. Like, even though we can't really drive them anymore because they're, they're just garage queens right now. And I'll show you guys in the bit. Let me just hold your horses because I know you guys want to see the garage. But yeah, um, so that happened. We were in there. And like I said, I just felt, I wasn't feeling too comfortable and just because, you know, it was, we just went from a little room to kind of a somewhat bigger room and still not enough, you know, room to kind of do more things. You know, but I, I was planning kind of long term. I was like, yeah, well, let's, let's, let's try to build to get a house eventually. But then fast forward a little bit longer, you know, at least was coming up. We got the finances right. Like I said, it was, it was sooner than I expected. I was, I was looking to get a, my own place, like, you know, an actual like house house on, on my own. Um, for, you know, the time frame would have been like five, six years from, when I got the last house, so the last video, you only know, saw that, but I'm a true believer in God, guys. Um, and the, I, I don't know if you guys are religious or not, but I am. Uh, and he works in mysterious ways. And, you know, I'm pretty sure you saw the need that, you know, we kind of wanted and needed a better house and, you know, something more, you know, to kind of have a family grow more and, you know, stop making this man stupid shit. <laughs> Cause like I said, we were spending money left and right on dumb things that we didn't even need. Like, like for example, my daily. So if you guys want to buy that, uh, you guys can buy it off me, you know, I'll do it for cheap. Like I said, one day we, me and my girl just had a talk. It was like, hey, you know, the lease is coming up. Are we gonna keep going, etc., etc. That's when we kind of like, we're like, do we really want to pay someone else? Like, you know, and pretty much it just, we're, we were just giving away money. You know, that's what I was taking it as, was renting. Cause we were renting the last house. Like I said, it was a step up from where we were at first, but like I said, we were just giving money away to the landlord and then, you know, they were just pocketing all the money. And, and then it wasn't it wasn't for anything in the future kind of deal like it wasn't an actual asset or an investment or anything like that. I know some of you guys may be thinking like oh buying a house is not an asset it's not an asset it's a but still you know this is kind of where it kind of all begins. This is a brand new chapter you know we flipped the page from our you know silly silly expenses. Now we're actually doing things more a lot smarter. That's why you know you guys haven't seen me do any more car stuff. You know, as much as I want to, is like burning my fingertips, like, oh, we gotta buy all this stuff. But, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather ex ex spend it on, you know, something, something better, something, you know, something that's actually worth buying. And it still will be car stuff, but in due time, it's gonna be a little bit longer process. So, sorry guys, you know, you guys wanna, I mean, if you guys really wanna help me build my car even more and see more content of cars, then, you know, just come my way or, or you know, buy stuff on the merch uh, website. I'll post the link down below. Buy some stuff, you know, anything helps. And then, you know, most of that money is going to go to the car stuff. So if you guys want to help, go buy some merch, guys. Like literally, like, like I'm still 100% want to do car stuff. But right now, you know, I got to deal with all this other stuff. We started looking for houses. We didn't think we were going to get approved right away. 
Like literally, our, our lease was supposed to be up in December, but then like I said, we started looking for houses, you know, first time buyers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, shout out to my parents for helping helping us out too, you know, like, like what's it called? Giving us the right advice and what to do, what to say, or et cetera, et cetera, you know. Um, shout out to them because you know they you know they bought it they bought houses before so they they kind of know what what to do what to expect and you know coming to me from not knowing anything uh they they helped us out helped us out a lot um shout out to them but you know it was kind of stressful not gonna lie this house market stuff if you guys are new to this if you guys are looking to buy a house especially right now in this market you gotta you gotta literally have the money and be ready to pay because you know in two three days those guys those, those houses are gone like we were looking at this one house. We didn't fall in love with it, but we liked it a lot. And then, you know, it was in, a, it was in our price range. Um, we went over, we looked at the house, we were trying to put an offer down, but like I said, in this house market, guys, like someone offered like over $100,000 more than what the asking price was. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not putting that much money down. Cause, but yeah, so that happens, we were kind of bummed out because we couldn't even put an offer because, you know, we can't top off 100K more. <laughs> So that was that was the day we were bummed out. We we're like, damn, like like we're never like after seeing those like that house, another house, same thing. They're putting like 80, 90 k more. And me and my girl was like, damn, we're probably not. We're, we're already kind of like second guessing ourselves. Like, damn, we're just not gonna happen. We're probably gonna have to uh, extend the lease or you know try to try to figure out something else because you know this it's not gonna work. We're not gonna get approved. We're not gonna do any of this. And then, luckily, right after that house, after that happened, we, we, we still decided to keep looking. That's when my girl's mom actually messaged my girl and, te and texted her at this house that we're living in right now. She's like, hey, this house just got on the market. Let me know what you guys think. And then we saw it, we looked at the pictures, and I was like, yeah, let's go see it. So I told my mom to kind of tell the realtor, like, hey, like, you know, let's, uh, let's go see it. And then, so my mom came out, and like I said, she was helping me out with the whole realtor stuff and all that, because I don't want to deal with all that shit. <laughs> so... So she helped us, and then uh, and then the very very next day we we came to see the house. And we we're like, damn, this house is perfect, you know. Uh, uh, the driveway, everything's beautiful. I know you guys probably see the thumbnail. You guys see that fat driveway, but you know I'll get more into that. But um, so yeah, that happened. We were, we were kind of like we were stoked. We were like, hell yeah, um, let's 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 put an offer in. We put the offer in, and then we were like, like hopefully, hopefully, you know, they they do it. Like I said. We pray to God, you know, we did what we had to do, and then, and uh, two, three days later, start went by, and then we weren't getting the answer back, and then, and then me and my girl was like, damn, we're probably gonna get accepted, and then that same night, when we talked about it, we're not gonna get accepted, we get the call, like, hey, you guys got accepted, this and this, yada, yada, and then we were beyond stoked, so, I mean, like I said, it was kind of stressful at the beginning, but once we got it, once we, all, the, all the stuff went through, and we got the news that we got it and everything, we were just beyond stoked and then um it's just been hectic ever since it's stressful but it's a good stress it's a really good stress guys uh if you guys are planning on buying a house for yourselves you know just i would suggest go ahead and do it it's honestly like like even, even though sometimes it is stressful but it's it's a good stress you know right now we're still trying to move in right now it's been two weeks since we got the keys and literally we're still trying to figure out because i mean this house for me, you know, coming from a little tiny room, coming to a you know, big ass house like this, it's a lot of room, it's a lot of space, and it just it looks empty. It looks empty, and then we're still trying to buy a lot of things, and like I said, our finances, I'm not saying they're tight, but they're a little tight. So, so yeah, I mean, um, I'm still trying to figure out what to get and whatnot, and you know, what looks good here, what looks good there, yada yada yada. Like I said, this this room is still a mess. Like I said, I did another impulsive buy just well not impulsive it's more an investment it was an investment just so if you guys know what the big box is comment down below what do you guys think it is if you guys are ballers you guys know what that is but that's enough of me talking a uh, house tour um hopefully you guys hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys made it through me talking hit the thumbs up because like i said there's gonna be a lot of projects going on in this house but without further ado guys that's a little backstory on what to kind of catch you guys up also i'm gonna give you guys a little treat i know you guys haven't really seen i mean if you follow me on instagram you've seen my car the the wrap color but if you guys haven't seen me i'll give you guys a more depth once we go outside because you guys will you guys are gonna see that but to begin with let's jump right into it so without further ado let's jump into mtb crips all right here we go this is the 
messy ass living room. Like I said, we're still unpacking. Also, I bought some LED lighting for outside, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But, you know, here's my child. Pretty much her play area. Well, she has a lot of play areas, actually. But, you know, one thing I did like about this house is those lights. They're hella bright and they look nice. Oh, there it is. So, I did like those lights. Um, I am thinking about doing crab molding later, but, you know, I got a lot of projects for this house. Also, like so I already kind of started furnishing everything. Um, called, I still gotta rearrange a lot of things and add a lot of things because this looks weird for me. And I was just a big old open area and then the little tiny couches. So, I'm gonna do that. Like I said, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, I'm still trying to hide the wires, as you see. I didn't play this through that. And I'm hiding the wires for the surround sound. Um, uh, what's it called? But yeah, there's a living room. I like these big ass windows, but the only bad thing about these windows is that blinds this big <laughs> are really expensive. So right now we're gonna I actually bought curtains for it. Um, so as soon as you walk in, go to the right. You, know, you got the you got the throw up room. Because no, when you guys come over here, you guys are drinking for sure. I'm just kidding. But right, this is the, sh the shitter, and I like the shitter because it has AC. You know, when, when have you seen the shitter with AC? Well, at least my room doesn't, but anywho, this is the kitchen. Uh, this is gonna have to go. We're gonna probably make a better island because this one's kind of, kind of funky and ugly. And like I said, so much room. It looks so empty. Like this table sits eight people, right? But look at all this room. Look at all this extra room. So yeah, we got we got lots of plants. So, so shout out to the last owners. They left us a fridge, um, you know, because we were, you know, so that's one thing we didn't have to spend on, a fridge. So yeah, that's, this is the, we the kitchen. Like I said, I'm probably gonna have a mini bar and a TV over here. We're actually planning about taking this wall down, having like a U-shaped bar right here and kind of have like stools, stools around it. But that's something that's gonna happen in the future, not anytime soon. Uh, for now, this is what we'll have to do. Uh, I'll get in the backyard later. But yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty big than what we had. And, and also, we bought a cactus that literally says everything I says. I eat ass. <laughs> That's her favorite toy. She literally screams at it, and then it starts going off. So, TikTok made me buy that. Just saying. <laughs> God damn it. And also, this used to be a three-car garage, but they inverted it into a room, which is actually nice. Right now, it's our storage. So you can see all the shit we haven't unpacked yet. Literally all this bunch of BS. And also my recycling. Um, but yeah, we still haven't unpacked anything. We're still trying to go through all these boxes and trying to get everything. Also we got pool stuff. Also, this fridge was stocked with a lot more stuff, but um, yeah, we kind of drank majority of it. But anywho, you know, this is kind of be the, the alcohol, the spare fridge and you know, for meat and shit. Um, I don't know. Actually, I'm, not, I'm actually thinking about making this room kind of like a storage slash game room, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this room yet. I still, I still don't know. I might head to the garage. I'm gonna save that for last-ish, kinda. But let's move upstairs. Also, shout out to the last owners. They redid, they remodeled this whole house. They painted everything. They were painting the cabinets. They painted the, the, literally the walls. They painted, they, did, they redid everything. So it looks like a, brand new house in a way. Also, the carpet. So, now I gotta take a sh brand new, friend spanking new. It actually feels like cushion. You could actually sleep on the carpet. It feels a lot better than my bed. I'm not even gonna lie. Are you gonna sleep on the bed? The floor. Probably am gonna sleep on the floor, you know? No. So, whenever she gets mad at me and makes me sleep on the floor, I'll be gladly to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Cause it's so cushiony. Like literally, like it feels like you're walking on the moon. And then, first room to the right, I mean to the right. I don't know, I'm left and right, sorry guys. First room to the left, god damn it. We have our guest bedroom, you know. It's a, I mean, it's pretty big. It's not, it's not huge, it's not a huge room, but you know, it's big enough for another bed. Right now, this is all we have. We have a little board and a tiny mattress. Um, these blinds that left us, I don't know what the hell they did, but we gotta clean all this. Like, we gotta get like, we just literally put them up like a couple days ago, so I have to go through every single one of them and 
Clean them up because they're disgusting. It looks like they slaughtered someone over here. Look at that. Maybe this was a kitchen one. I don't know. Uh, this blind looks nasty. So, okay. Also, one of the best features of this house that I, we all like a lot is this big ass windows. So, if you guys are somewhere down there walking, you guys are probably going to see me naked coming down the stairs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll probably flash you through this window. Or, you know, if someone's looking at my car, I just. No, you just look up and you'll see me just staring at you. I'll probably put a wallpaper of my face right here. So you guys get scared and intimidated that I'm just like looking at you. So that looks a little awkward. So, um, or, or in case we see a hot milf, you know, I'm just watching her walk her dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. It was like I'm sleeping on the floor tonight, guys. <laughs> also, redid the bathroom, kinda. They did the dirt. They redid the showers. I think those are really cool. The only thing is. My girl pointed it out, I didn't even know this, but when you close the door, you have the door open. Oh, it barely misses it. It doesn't hit it. She was saying it hits it, but it barely misses it. So <laughs> whoever the engineer was, literally perfection. Perfection on this door. So yeah, they redid the bathroom that I know of. These lights are cool. I like these lights a lot. Um, but yeah, two sinks, you know, for my daughter and whatever other kids we have. But yeah, that's that's one that's one that's a second bathroom. Well, first full bathroom. Uh, that's my daughter's room. Uh, like I said, we're still trying to reorganize everything because it looks cool like this, but not really. By the way, she has never slept in that, and I don't think she's gonna sleep in that uh, just because you know we can't stay away from our daughter. But anyway, this is our room. Like I said, we still have a bunch of stuff to unpack and put everything away. A little tiny ass clothes. How tiny is this? I'm putting my hand to it. <laughs> She's so tiny. But yeah. So that's pretty much our like dedicated uh, playroom for now. It's just since she hasn't been sleeping here yet. Um, and this is where we first started this video, where we saw the the um, what's it called? My my office. So like I said, all these pictures probably gonna have to move around. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep those pictures here yet. Uh, and now I'm gonna put LED lights all over the top, so it kinda looks cool when I'm editing, yada, yada, yada. Uh, also, a bunch of fucking car parts. I don't have car parts up here now. Uh, anyways, remember this brown box? It's a Mac, it's a Mac, it's an iMac. So, <clears throat> this is why I made into, this is why I made this room into the office, cause it's kinda like the smallest room, just because, you know, there's big ass walls here, but since the laundry room's in here. Um, so I was made into an office because you can't really fit a bed in there. Uh, and a tiny ass closet too. So that's the other room. Also, my girl's belly casting. The laundry room, like I said, again, shout out to the last owners because they left us their, their washer and dryer too. Currently we're doing laundry. So you guys don't want to see all my chonies and shit. Where right, the fun begins, where the magic happens. Um, this is the master bedroom. Those are all fucking dirty clothes still. Like I said, we're still trying to figure out everything we got boxes everywhere we got shit everywhere literally so sorry for the mess um not we don't have anything literally i just put this tv up like a day ago or two days ago i said look at my extension cord <laughs> this this is the only thing i could find for now um later on we're gonna fully furnish this room so i'm gonna make another video once i'm fully done well not fully fully but once we furnish every room and looks nice then i'll give you guys another another tour kind of what we did and whatnot um, also, this is my main office, but I hate this office because it has no AC. The only uh, area of ventilation is literally <laughs> that window, and it's hella hot in here all the time. So every single time I go in here, I lose like 10 pounds because I'm sweating my fucking ass cheeks out. I get stuck to the toilet all the time. <laughs> also, this big ass mirror is fucking nice. I hate these lights. I don't know why the owners have these. Look at these. Oh, like what the fuck is that? They're like swirly as leds or whatever the hell they are not even doing any justice on on the mirror i think we get more light from the sunlight than anything else actually the moon's probably brighter there's our walk-in closet it's a lot bigger than the last walk-in closet i can tell you that uh but we have a lot of lots of plans for this so i mean guys just a little before so you guys can see now and then once once we guys come back on my next video you're just gonna see this whole thing remodeled also, I don't know why this <laughs> closet has a, uh, what's it called? Um, 
a window. So like, maybe so when you guys are walking, I could just flash my titties at you or something. But yeah, planning the room with this door too, having a sliding door just because this door kind of takes all, a lot of room. And you know, it hits this. This little outlet, it's actually a built in vacuum. So, I'll show you guys that right now. It's actually like a hose. You plug in there and then it turns on the vacuum. It literally goes into the walls down there into the garage. It's a little like vacuum filter on the corner of the garage, which I'll show you guys in a bit. So, you plug it in there, you literally the hose goes everywhere. But it goes in every single room. There's one outlet there, another outlet here. And there's one more downstairs, so that's pretty sick. Also, I was always against these shoes, but ever since my dad got them, and I took them from him, <laughs> best shoes I've ever worn. These are my everyday shoes now, literally. Okay, now I better, okay. <coughs> I think Yeezys and these go hand in hand on how comfortable they are. Like literally, I always hated the way the shoes look, but the comfortability, I'll fucking take it. But anyways, now we're gonna cue some cinematics that I don't know how to do. But this is the backyard and their AC just turned on so it's not gonna let me record. But yeah. All this stuff I'm gonna remove. All this stuff. All these rocks. Cause and I have a baby, she's gonna come out here a lot and I don't want her falling down on these edges and hitting her head or hitting her head in the rocks and you know, it's just gonna be Big ol' issue, so I'm gonna take all those rocks out. Um, shut up, more rocks. The, that is a fire pit, which is cool. I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm gonna take all these rocks out. Also, the left is this table. Now we're gonna have to buy a table for now. Um, yeah, this is the pool. This is where the actual fun happens, because I've been in this pool so many times already. It's honestly the best thing I've ever been in. This place now in the summer. Also, the left is a uh, iRobot. <laughs> That's what I call him. I call him a dog, because he looks like a dog. When, if you guys saw him move in the mornings, literally his tail is just flapping everywhere like a dog. And I was like, look, maybe we got an underwater dog. And so, sometimes it gets stuck in the corner and then it's just, I don't know. To me, it looks like a dog. Also, it has a waterfall. I'm gonna take all this rock off again. Pop pool, fake grass. And I'm gonna add to the pool, have a jacuzzi right here. Just I mean, what kind of pool? Why would you have a pool with no jacuzzi, you know? Might as well just add to it. So I'm gonna add to that. And yeah, it's pretty much for the pool part. Okay, now I'm gonna take you guys to the best part of the house where this part is kind of where I like it a lot. I'm not saying I like it the most, but it's kind of like the coolest part that I think. Also, I don't know why they have this walkway. I would've just put cement here, which I'm probably gonna do on the line, but this is the part I'm talking to you guys about. <laughs> if you guys want to see what happened to this car, go tune into uh, Dreamland's video. I'll post the link somewhere, whatever. Go tune into this video. You guys will see exactly what happened to this car. But I'm going to kind of tell you guys anyways. This was the donor car. We bought it. Uh, it was a mere bought it because he was doing a... He's going to do a FG2 swap on his AP3. Uh, yeah, that door got smashed in. So we got the car just for the motor. <laughs> and then we ended up trashing the hell out of it. I'm gonna see if I could throw a clip in from uh, from what happened yesterday, but yeah. But this is where I'm literally gonna work on the car, on my car, and you know whatever car comes in through here. Um, this is where I'm gonna do all the um, all the fun stuff, all the all the. This is this is pretty much the my building area, as you can say. But for now, it's kind of open. But later on, I'm gonna get like a I'm gonna extend the garage and you know do all this cool stuff and the lift. Uh, so and also, this is the garage. But yeah, this is my little RV, RV area. So I could fit literally. I kind of how many cars I could probably fit in here. I could fit two in here, right? Like one all the way pushed in. If I knock that fence, I could probably put like one more way over there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my driveway eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Total like fourteen, fifteen cars. Just in one house, including the garage. That's how fucking crazy it is. Also, here's the motor. Here's the big boy in the motor. Motor and tranny. Probably gonna drop that in pretty soon, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a video for that. And also, if you guys need anything from this car that's <laughs> we didn't fuck up yet, let me know. Uh, 
So let me know what you guys need. We got a rack and pinion, still good. We got an EP3C because we took the, EP, the EP3 seats out. Um, I think we're the dash. You guys want the dash? Want the steering wheel? Steering wheel. Literally it has BC coils. So if you guys are looking for BC coils, let me know and then we'll swap those out and give them to you. That's all. We got the Harry Potter room. So, or what Felicia, oh, my girl calls it, the timeout room. Because like I said, this room is still pretty fat. You can fit like four people in here. <laughs> but yeah, and also there's the hose I was talking to you guys about, the vacuum hose. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but anyways, go to the front of the house. Ta da! Ta da! This driveway is freaking fat. I mean, compared to all the driveways I ever had, what well, I lived in. So I fit one car here, I fit one car in the middle. This is my boy Alex's car, doing some stuff to it. And I can fit like two more cars, literally right here on the driveway. I probably fit three actually. Probably close together, I probably fit three. But, without further ado, all right, cue the Fast and the Furious. What are you driving? What are we driving? You know how to do a little flex on this. <laughs> but yeah, you know, finally, finally, we we're able to park in the same garage. Not having to move our cars every single time to do work on a car, do something. Finally have our own space to so just literally keep them in there. But I haven't driven this car in probably before I moved in actually. Actually when I moved in the last time I drove the car. This car kind of it's been driven a couple times, but yeah. Literally. The only thing I don't like about this garage is kinda of small. So I mean I know we have a lot of crap right here right now. Like I said, we're still, we're still trying to unpack. My girl's white body's over there. Also if you guys have a 04 to 2013 STI or WX, you guys need a motor. Got a fully long block, fully built long block. So if you guys want to buy that off me, let me know. I'll give you all the specs and everything and price, etc. etc. Also, I have an IG, the other IG still. I haven't put those on yet. I have a K20 A3. If you guys want that, let me know. Um, and that's and that, that's the vacuuming system I was telling you guys about that literally goes in there. The filters down there, all I have to do is literally just go to the trash and dump it out real quick. Um, but yeah, this is the best scene of the house. I mean, literally, I never had to see this view until now. It looks so sick. So without further ado, you guys, that's pretty much it for the house tour. Um, also, like I said, I have a bunch of, I got to fix the grass. The grass is a fucking mess. Um, they didn't really take care of it. And like I said, I'm going to take all this shit off too. I'm going to take that fucking tree off. I got lots of plants for over here. Uh, I could probably take this tree down for another car over here so i'm not i'm not planning on having like 30 cars here but you know what i mean you know what i mean so hope you guys enjoyed this little tour um one so i got a nice little few i think i got a nice little feature of my house there with my phone wait give it a second give it a second and close oh <laughs> that's a nice little feature that's the best feature of the house. I just got that installed. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, guys, that's it. that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys really enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, peace out. Hello, this is the reveal of the car now. I wish there was daylight so I could show you guys, but it's a midnight purple from you know, this Tech, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, it looks so sick on the fucking daylight. There was daylight, I'll show you guys. Probably when I get the wheels, I'll show you guys in daylight. But I still don't have wheels yet. Still waiting for AAP to bring my wheels. Also, I got new tail lights. Shout out to STI Sherm for hooking me up with these. But it looks so much better now. <laughs>